Welcome back to Fast Money. We've got a news alert on Intel. Shares are down about 3% after hours. John Fort's got the details. Hey, John. Hey, Melissa. Yeah, they just took a dive as they ended the presentation portion of uh, what they were doing. Now they're doing Q&A. That's on behind me. But here's what the news was. Uh, Intel saying that they're not as far behind as many think in their manufacturing and process technology, and they're offering new benchmarks for uh, manufacturing and a new nomenclature. So rather than simply going by nanometers, uh, right now they're in 10 nanometer, trying to transition to seven, they're going to call their next uh, process node Intel 7, even though it's technically not going to be seven nanometer in the sense uh, that they were measuring before, they're saying it's gonna be competitive with the industry seven nanometer from their Intel 4, 3, 20A, and then 18A, et cetera. Now, um, Intel making this argument that even others in the industry have said the nanometer uh, form wasn't working and wasn't apples to apples across different manufacturers. Intel also announced a couple of new technologies, Ribbon FET and PowerVIA, that they say in a couple of years are going to clearly put them ahead of others. That'll ramp in 2024. And finally, people were wanting to hear customers for Intel's technology and foundry. They announced AWS the first customer for their IFS packaging, and said Qualcomm's interested in that 20A node that they just talked about. I think investors probably wanted to hear more specifics than that, and that's when the stock really dropped uh, after hours when Pat Gelsinger was ending with that announcement. I'm going to go deeper on the technicals here and try to get a sense of whether Intel can pull this off, particularly because ASML is a key supplier to the whole industry, and some of this relies on their technology. Can Intel get the supply of their equipment in, in order to manufacture this, Melissa? All right, John, thanks for unpacking that for us. John Fort, the latest on Intel. Uh, shares are down 3%. Tim, I go to you. Well, I think, you know, there's two things. First of all, Pat Gelsinger was also talking about we're, we're now going to be ready to take on the world by 2025. And, and I, right. I, the argument is that we're faster, you know, we're farther along than you think. But And, and creating um, leadership in terms of trying to set trends on nomenclature and, and other things is great. Um, but they still remain very high, far behind. And in fact, Taiwan Semi and Samsung have been the great beneficiaries of that. Do you hold this um, and hope that by 2025 they're in, you know, That's some tough. sort of a lead? Well, it's a long, listen, it's a long they will time compete. Thing. It is a long time. It's a cheap stock relative to some of its peers. And, I, and you, you know, Tim just mentioned Taiwan Semi. I mean, they're making chips for the whole planet right now. And it's interesting that the headline today is that Intel is going to be making chips for Qualcomm. Intel missed mobile. I mean, like, they missed mobile, so now they're going to make chips for their once big competitor, Qualcomm. It just yeah. seems kind of odd to me. And I don't like that change in nomenclature. It sounds like they don't, like, they're kind of moving the goalposts a little bit. There's so much been focused on 10 nano, 10 nano, 7 nano, because that's where AMD is. Let's move is. away from that. Yeah. I, you know, to me, listen, I don't mean to be but an forget armchair. About that. I don't mean to be an armchair quarterback here. I'm just saying that the, over the last few days, not a lot of great news. There's really not much for investors here other than valuation and maybe a little hope over time. I mean, let's be clear. None of us here are chip experts. No. That's for sure. Fact. Guy, just quickly, favorite chip stock. Lays. Oh, <laughs> I Ruffles thought you were talking about regular. a different kind of chip. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, none of us are experts. We don't pretend to be, but we can break down numbers. And I thought we did a really good job last week. We mentioned that data center was great. We also mentioned the fact that given the beat, the raise was ridiculously poor. And that's why the stock sold off. And we said, listen, you're not going to get killed here in Intel at 53, but you're not going to make a lot of money. I'll stand by that. It's AMD is eating their lunch, uh, as is Qualcomm to a certain extent. I think Qualcomm is equally cheap. And I think AMD is where you're going to get the growth. So, Listen, Intel at $53, you know, I don't think you're going to get killed. AMD and earnings tomorrow is going to be really interesting. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.